Hello and welcome my friends, finally we are at Worlds, finally the event starts and we're starting with Mad vs. Vi oh, what the hell, a Needly first pick. Okay, that's that's not the meta that we expected, but yeah, Mad vs. Vikings, this Needly by the way is a flex pick for top and jungle, but still absolutely bananas, like hey, let's see, uh, the bans kind of were skipped here, well, right games production I guess. Um, Oriana, okay, yeah, but um, yeah, you can just pick whatever here at this point. Uh, no Syndra priority. Poppy should uh, be a counter pick here against any variation of Nidalee top, Nidalee um, jungle. In the bands we have Jax, Senna, and uh, obviously what's his name, Zix. So uh, yeah, Zix still staying priority pick, yeah. It turns out just uh, removing a bit of his turret damage from the passive uh, is, is not enough to kick him out. Well, at least for now. Skana being a high uh, ban priority is something that uh, yeah, some... Uh, well, it's not, it's not leaks, but it's uh, yeah, some sources have, uh, have said that Skana is quite good. Skana is high in priority. And, well, okay, sure. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, Skana is one of the champions right now that uh, feels just so super tanky once they, they get a couple of items, right? And uh, yeah, with uh, the lack of damage uh, in the early game for some champions, that can matter quite a lot. So let's talk about some of the pick champions here. We have obviously the Oriana. Pretty good, pretty good. A bit weird to see a blind pick Oriana, right? Um, it's a strong champion and I mean, okay, sure, but uh, maybe... Considering that Kati is your strongest player, like, do you not want to give him like counter pick, or maybe they want to pick counter, uh, like, have counter pick or confirmed counter pick for the top lane, right? Nana, Nana, Nanoe. Sorry, I have no idea how to correctly pronounce your name. That kid got uh, absolutely shit stomped uh, in the VCS finals. I think we talked about this. Uh, so yeah, maybe you want to really protect that guy because. For both teams, this should be the avenue to uh, attack, right? I think Vikings bot lane, I think Vikings uh, mid jungle is actually really, really good. Uh, Guri obviously is not going to be the jungle of the VCS, at least not <laughs> till uh, Levi uh, leaves the region, so that's that. But he's pretty, pretty good, right? Pretty remarkable. Vikings had a great regular season, and uh, yeah, he's one of the reasons for that, right? Lining up with his mid lane Akati, making all kinds of plays. And the bot lane, we don't have to talk about it. So, yeah, the top lane is the avenue of attack for Vikings, uh, or like for Mad to attack Vikings, right? So, uh, yeah, it makes sense that here R5 is going to be their pick, right? They don't want to go and fall into any kind of trap with like the early, um, what is it, the early picks here with the um, Cassante, with the Nidalee. Let's see, let's see. I mean, this could just, I mean, actually the confirmed poppy top. I, I need to wake up, right? I just just sprinted out of bed. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So what kind of crazy combinations do we have here? This could be poppy support. This could be, yeah, okay. It ends up actually being poppy support and R5 going to be a Camille for the weakest player on your team. You give him a Camille Cassante matchup. That's interesting, that's interesting. Let's wait till all the swaps are around. Maybe there's some stupid shit going on. I don't think so though. Um, okay, okay. Mid lane matchup should be fine. Honestly, I think the Sundra uh, lineup is better here. But um, yeah, I mean the 2v2s are also nothing really to write home about. And then in the uh, bot lanes, uh, yeah, both are pretty, pretty fine, I think, uh, yeah. We're going to have to see how the like very early game goes right maybe jinx can get some shove there but uh honestly there shouldn't be anything too crazy happening which means that both uh ad carries are going to farm and the supports will be unlocked to uh impact the map uh, more and more so and uh, yeah that's going to be great i think for the vcs uh vikings more so than even um what's their name um gam are like a real fight 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 team like if you look at their uh i don't remember the exact number but like their uh, like kills and assists are so high and not only because they do well but also because they just fight so much 
Okay, 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 we, we're in game and... Yeah, um... Let's see, let's see, minions have spawned, uh... Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just call it rough, especially for top side, right? There, if there's a tank that can uh, do some harm early game or uh, actually at any point, that is the Mr. Kasante. Wait, 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 wait! Actually, a lane swap, lane swaps iteration in what? Uh, uh, okay, I just, I don't care, my throat and my voice goes away, not only because I'm still fucking sick, but because we just woke up, so, uh, yeah, excuse me, I will crack open a cold one, nothing better to wake up than fucking 99% sugar drinks, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what we're supposed to see here, it's fucking crazy. Lane swaps in, uh, what is it, 14, 15? Oh, whatever the patch number is. Crazy. Okay, let's see, let's see. We expected TP coming in, yeah, but maybe it's a bit too late, because Alvarov is already down. They get one instance of CC in and... The next one is blocked, so it's a one for one. Like, they get the CS, especially considering how poor of a start it was for their top laner. Getting first bloods, certainly not a poor thing. That was... Yeah. Uh, by the way, we put our hands together here, both mid lane... Wait, is that... Is that uh, before I'm yapping, is that correct? Hey, hey, hover mid lane! Hello! For fuck's sakes, man. I think both mid laners are playing T1 skins. That is the T1 Syndra, I, I think it is, right? It looks very much like it. I honestly have not played her in a, in a while. I'm uh, yeah, not a Syndra enjoyer. Yeah, okay, it is absolutely the, uh, the SKT Syndra. And on the other side, the most recent addition to the T1 family. The T1 Oriana, and he's playing the Chroma. Well, regardless, let's see. Bot line, bot line, bot line. Bot lane, bot lane, bot lane. Let's see, Beard, don't fall into a trap. That's a bit unfortunate, but he steps away from the zap. And let's see. Yeah, that's rough, that's rough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh my god. That is just crazy. Well, sometimes fortune needs to be on your side, I guess. And... Kisante, Kisante, he's a champion. But, uh, yeah. He gets two summoner spells from the AD carry. Uh... Yeah. Very unfortunate, right, for the top side from, um, Vikings, right? Things are just not working out well for them. Well, the rest of the map is looking fine, right? So, um... Whoa, what the hell is that guy doing? Jesus, what the hell? Uh... Uh... Okay, okay, let's see. Okay. What the hell are we watching here, actually, by the way? Like, what the... I witnessed so much... Shogun. What the fuck was that? Well, I, yeah, a stoppable force me meets a movable object or something. What the fuck? Okay, let's see. Old onto Merwin. Let's see, let's see. All the squad is here. Poppy W does good stuff. There's the flash. And uh, yeah, Gisante is a champion. Uh, 
Okay, okay, I was about to call bullshit. And they pick up the support as well. So that's two kills, obviously. Look at top lane, that looks rough, but there's the, t uh, the recalls are already like being channeled. Mid lane is going to be a bit tough, right? Super, very accelerated. Shogun, well, we'll have to see, right? I mean, he has the Eternity Force, right? That can't be too, too bad. Bro, unfortunate. The last fucking second and he doesn't get plates. Mad Lions here, uh, taking care of uh, the, uh, what is it, Rift Herald, and well, we'll see, we'll see what they do with it. Gurman showing respect here. Let's see, let's see, that should be the bot lane turret, right? And on the other side, the Herald can be used in mid lane, but uh, actually with, like, so many people in bot, Poppy recalling, like, they don't even need Herald, maybe. Okay, they're going, they don't know about Poppy not being there. Um, okay, yeah. I think they could have gotten the turret uh, regardless, right? Look at those fucking grubbers, what the hell? Okay, okay. Bro, what the fuck? When do these grubs die? Like, what the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe here a pick just before, uh, what is it? The dragon. Flash forward. There's the Q. Oh, the ult also used. Let's see. There is uh, the Camille also coming in. Kati is channeling the recall. Curry. Guri. <laughs> Sorry, not Curry. Uh, is trying to run away. And it seems they completely forgot about the Oriana. What the hell? And okay. F. Kill. Given over. And well, now he TPs in. Murren completely overstepped. <laughs> That's your major region team. Well, anyway, uh, 10 seconds to Drake. Frescari has TP though, so well, it's that's that, right? It's okay, it's okay. So now they're overloading the site with Camille on. And uh, yeah, it's not that. Uh, hello, hello, VK? Uh, uh, hello? Hello, do you want to defend your turret? What the fuck are they doing? Like what? I just like sometimes I just ask myself, what are you guys doing? And this is certainly one of those moments. Like what? Like either you go top lane and help your top laner. Or <laughs> you just go through mid lane and take a turret or two. And like his brother top laner, right? It's like he goes in, Kati TPs. It's like you need to, to talk with each other. You're all Vietnamese, right? You all speak the same language, I assume. Uh, so it's like, how can how can that happen? And that was pretty outrageous. Okay, Mirren here. Yep, and uh, that's the downside of W. Anything? B doesn't have W or what? Guri goes in. Prescari doesn't hit anything, and there is the Camille flank. But Kati is not here, so yeah. Let's see. Let's see. That's the downside of having no mid lane turret whatsoever, right? Even the Ezreal can be caught. But I mean, this time somehow the Cassante sneaked all the way through. Well, that's, I guess, again, what happens when you have zero towers. Anyway, so uh, Vikings, they were in a great position early, right? Oh, what is Nanue doing? Oh my, oh my. What, where was the spear? Probably hidden under the walls. Shogun again somehow caught. Kati hits a ult, but well, it's not enough. And uh, yeah, this should be the end of game number one here. Um, that is Baron. Like, I mean, they should get Baron and Dragon both. Steel is worth here. Oh, he's not even attempting to. So, uh, let's see. Can Lee Sin get away? Yep, there's the ward jump. He ooh, gets away from the rocket. And they stop the Baron being taken. Very huge, very big. For VKE, and I mean, if you look at the side waves, uh, it's like, yeah, kind of, kind of okay, kind of okay. 
So 4,000 gold deficit. That's bad. Dragon advantage now also going. Oh, what do we see here? Um, yeah, that's Baron. That's just Baron. Elyoya can never stop this. Like, channel the ult and just goes through. Guri will have the W and yeah. That's uh, the Vikings charging through and like taking some uh, some bounty or some loot. I don't know. They're plundering the, the, the Baron or something. So yeah, uh, next fight starts here in a moment. Maybe we can talk about the items a bit. Jinx here, four items, Rapid Fire, Phantom Dancer. That looks pretty fun. Lots of movement speed, lots of range also with that. And uh, yeah, BT as well. I mean, this is like, this is, this, she's online, right? There's no armor, so no armor pen really needed. Oh fucking hell, that is Kati dead before he the fight. That's BA also dead, so no fight even possible. Let's assume Alvarov pressed R and flash. Hey! That's the objective, and that's a 1v1 kill in the mid lane. Oh, actually, it seems a 2v1. Shogun here, Murren, can they can they do something? Elioya comes over, there's the ult, but it just doesn't do anything here, really. Elioya goes in at least... No, that's not... I mean, I can't speak English. <gasps> Classical Kisante, fucking dog shit, piss ass champion, man. Remove him from the game, right, games, please do it now. But uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, right? They get like the turret mid lane, they get the dragon, and the fight is... Bia died, yeah, Bia died at the very start. He died even before uh, Kati. Oh. Yeah. Oh, trap spots, Nanue. I'm really sorry if that's not how you pronounce your name. I am. Oh, engaging onto Mirwin. Let's see, on the top side, right, there's also something we need to be careful of. Okay, Mirwin gets away. He doesn't have, uh, what's the item? The item that fills your HP back up. Cancelled. Not gotten the kill, but cancelled. So that will buy some time. But Vikings is a bit scattered. There's the engage. It hits the... He gets the ult through though. But that's the reset. That's everything that the Jinx wants. Okay, it runs out, it runs out. Nanue gets hooked as well. Man, this wall is not thick enough. And yeah, that was just really fucking rough. The hook comes in from Alvaro, someone like I did not regard like positively at all. Shogun flashes away and what is it? The one who stands behind him, Kati of all people, is getting hooked and gets blown up. Sure, he gets the ult through, but that's just not enough. Jinx gets the reset and I mean... I mentioned that Vikings at the start of it, they were scattered. Sure, they had a good uh, overall position, right? With um, this, uh, the top laner not being there, but that's about it. They're, they're just in a bit of a like damage problem. Oh, he buffers the E, but it's just not enough. He gets slain and that's it for this game. Kati, can he be the hero? I mean, he has to do so much work. And even then, like, who's going to kill this Merwin guy? Like, Oriana's just not going to do anything to that. That is just crazy, man. He gets the hook through with all of that. But there is Nanue. Can he get something done? He's so strong. But, uh, yeah, not strong enough. There's the flash. It does not crit. But, yeah. Well played, very well played by Vikings, but uh, yeah, in the end, Matt, uh, yeah, showed up. Not uh, this guy, not that guy, it was actually the fucking Nautilus hooking the Oriana, again, catching her so many times. Uh, yeah, I honestly think uh, if, uh, like, I think Vikings had, like, some nerves, right, at some points, you were, like... You, you felt that they were scared. You felt that they were like, being a bit overly respectable. I mean, at least that's my perspective. Again, I am biased, but I think they can absolutely cook here, right? Because the top lane matchup where it's like, oh, Murin should destroy him. Like, nothing happened. He abused the motherfucking Cassante champion. Please, right, games, remove him. Okay, my friends, here we are in game number two. And uh, yeah, Vikings lost, but they choose red side again and this is something we saw at the end of last uh, of the last patch as well right people valuing the red side flexibility the red side counterpicks and i think red side is insane i mean 
Uh, you get a double first rotation pick, so you pick up two of the stronger champions. You get the R3 and can back it up with like two bands to like protect it, right? Um, you get, uh, sure, R4 is not the best pick, but uh, you get R5, so like you have so many good picks and uh, sure, like you have to ban like the super OP champions, but honestly, yeah, there are so like you also have the agency to trade super OP champions with your bands. It's just a good side. I just really like it a lot. Regardless, uh, what is this? Jinx first pick being legal? Uh, yeah, like hopefully Vikings can draft something to absolutely destroy it. Right, last time they had the Oriana with the Lee Sin and with the uh, Camille. So that is an avenue to try to do it. That coordination just didn't work. Maybe let's pick a different jungler, maybe something like Jarvan or something that synergizes well and can trap the Kim, uh, can trap the um, Jinx a bit better. Um, you could double down with Jarvan Camille, right? That works because Jarvan terrain also like is an E point for Camille and all of that nonsense. Regardless, Camille is going to be an option, especially when Kisante comes around again. Very interesting that Matt, sure, I think their win condi like their best player or like their best setup here or whatever going into a worlds is super right their ad carry is what uh, kind of carried them here um elioya right historically is good but let's just keep it down right game number one he looked good enough right and yeah i have no belief in frescawi merwin comes up in this uh duel here because uh Again, I'm going to butcher on the name. Nanawe, uh, Nanue, whatever, <laughs> sorry. Uh, he's just, uh, yeah, he's just not that guy. But looking at game number one, well, he kind of was that guy. Uh, not that we can really say anything because, well, Cassante just did Cassante things and Camille did Camille things. So not really much uh, players uh, involved, just champions. And yeah, the bands are, by the way, the exact same, like the first three. Um, Six being still bannable is interesting. Here comes a poppy ban. What the fuck? Do you you want to pick poppy yourself? You have immobile mid and uh, what is it? ADC. Your top laner, sure. Yeah, poppy is the matchup there. And uh, yeah, on the other side, Belvef, Viego picking AD uh, junglers or banning AD junglers away from Elioia. It's an interesting option. Obviously, these are also like somewhat good into um, what's his name, the Jarvan, right? I, I think the Poppy ban is absolutely criminal. You want to pick Poppy yourself. Leona here, okay, yeah, Leona is understandable, but yeah, it just doesn't, it's just not enough. Again, I like Leona a lot because of her ultimate, uh, right? Like, she is a similar engaged champion to others. Um, well, maybe in comparison to. Uh, Alistar or the Rel, right? She's a bit more single target, whereas Rel is like more AOE. And Alistar also has like AOE potential, but also is really good at uh, peeling, right? So that's like somewhat uh, the trade offs between these. And then there's Nautilus, who is um, also like a single target boy, uh, similar to Leona. But Leona, obviously, the big thing for her is her ultimate, right? The non committal, long range engage, right? So that's her really cool thing. And yeah, they are for Renekton. Okay, so I get what they are thinking, right? R4, Renekton. Let's not talk about it being Renekton. Fuck Renekton. That champion is absolute garbage dog shit. But they pick him, right? Because they see the top lane matchup and then they keep R5 for support. Very cool. But I'm just not sure if, like, if. When Rel is available, I just I would love to pick that for myself, right? I think Rel here just would go really hard for Vikings comp, um, and like Matt, they 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 also realized that, right? Because it was hovered, and it's like, oh fuck, what do we do if they pick Rel? We're just getting Omega engaged by uh, all these factors, and sure, right now it's Rel, and the other side's like, oh, we pick uh, Alistair, it's like a Rel counter pick, and it's like Alistair is still good engage and this and that. Sure, but uh, yeah, I think I would have uh, like would I have preferred it. I don't know. Well, whatever. Anyway, oh, yo, that's some crazy damage early game. 
Okay, so conversation here. This is a game where we have the task to which team has picked the most T1 champions, right? Because both teams have quite a few of them, right? There's the T1, like T1 Oriana, T1 or SKT, T1 Jin. Then there's the T SKT T1 Alistair. Then there's the T SKT Syndra. Then there's the T1 uh, fucking Jinx, right? Let's see how many T1 picks out of five we have. Actually, we missed the T1 uh, SKT uh, Renekton from my fucking gold Morin, man. Whatever you're doing, God bless you, God bless you. So Alistair is not playing SKT. That's a very weak mindset, BA. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not good, not good. But both mid laners, again, very based, very good. They know what's what's good. They know what skins are great. They know who's the GOAT. Um, yeah, the Renekton also fucking it up, not picking the T1 skin. I, uh, and uh, then who, who do you have as well? Uh, the Jin, right? We need to see Jin. So, uh, yeah. If they get... Uh, Bro, they have four. They could. They have four T1 champions or SKT, whatever. It's the same anyway. They have like they have four of them. They could rock up with a full T1 skin line. Fucking massive. Uh, yeah, he has smite though. So this is. Wait, he doesn't have smite. Why the fuck does do you not have smite? What is he doing? I am losing my fucking mind. Nah, I don't want to play it. I don't want to watch anymore. What the fuck? And Ignite is not an eye. Ah, for fuck's sakes, man. It's just a fucking disaster. And Shogun cancels his recall. What the fuck is he doing? Ah, he's dead. Wait, Q doesn't come up again? Whatever. Uh, so yeah, this game is fucking over. How is he playing on the edge? Like, how is he playing on the edge? What the hell is this glazing? Like, he has his AD carry and his support right around. Jarvan, no items, no nothing. Used his EQ to run away. What are they doing? Shogun has to reload. Shogun has to reload. He has to reload. I am losing my fucking mind. I am losing my fucking mind. This is like some like like Viking is playing like some fucking like silver five players. What the fuck was that? Oh, let me walk into the enemy team to see if they're truly still there. What the hell was that, Nanue? Jesus Christ! Sure, he got perfectly wombo combo one shot before he could flash before he could ult. Which is more random at minute seven than I like, coordinated, I would assume, right? Uh, but Jesus Christ, the idea to it's like, oh, let me walk into them. They just hit me over the wall. I'm not sure if they're still there. It's like, what the hell are you guys doing, man? And like again, right? Mad Lions did this in game number one. Like the swap at six to seven minutes for the grubs, right? They did the same thing in game number one and they were coming. It's like, la 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 la, ma, are they still there? Oh my, I wonder if they're still there. Oh, yeah, of course they're still there. He could actually have pressed R because he, uh, he got an auto attack off. And here, by the way, to season 15, Jin is still auto attack, Jin is still reloading. And then he gets stunned before uh, he gets the auto off. Very cool, right, games? Okay, Elioia here potentially caught. Goes into the, uh, what is it? The old off Shogun. There is the rocket flying around. Do we have one last line of attack? There's the stun. There's that. 
And quick punish by uh, Vikings against Matt. Let's see on the other side. This is rough, but they should be able to survive, right? That's why you picked the Renekton, because he has sustain or some shit. Okay. Oh my god, man. It's so fucking cringe. Nanueg, anything? New rotation? Bia gets not the auto through. And there's the TP coming in. Alvarov. Has the crash down, has the Q, but super relatively low. Aloya is here. Who TP'd? Merwin did TP. Okay. What is this? Oh, yeah, this shows that Matt is actually like a fucking like bad team that just won one best of five. Miracle. Uh, like. what, what are you talking about? Miracle run. They won one best of five. They won one best of five. They were good winter, right? You see, they went second in winter. Then they were the fucking like hot dog guy in the stands selling food because they were so fucking bad at the game that they had to get a part time job. And then they win one random best of five in the season finale, right? In summer they were bad. In spring they were bad. They were always bad. Always, right? Winter is the exception here. And they win one best of five against G2 randomly. Well, because G2, I don't know, they add, like, I don't know, kebab, dinner, whatever, from, a, like, someone who does not care about hygiene and then they had diarrhea or something. I don't know what happened, right? They absolutely shit their pants. And, well, due to that, Matt qualified. They only won one best of five to qualify for Worlds. It's the same thing as every fucking year with this team. Yeah, we can't uh, co complain for this game, right? They improved, right? They improved to say, it's like, oh, this is how Matt always plays, or they're always this good, or yeah, they're a good team. It's like, no, shut the fuck up. Look at the fucking, like, majority of their games this year. This is the same fucking bullshit that, pe they, that, they, that people always pull at Worlds. It's like, oh, team plays good at Worlds? They are always good. Team plays good once? Oh yeah, they're always good. They always had it in them. No, that's just not how this fucking works. Like, if the majority of your history of gameplay is shit, you're shit. I don't care if you if you have one good day, or one good series, or one good month. The same fucking stuff with the DRX narrative. It's like, nah, that team was block shit. Okay, let's see. Alvarov has the crash down, gets interrupted, that's why he is the counter pick. There's the ult, there's the next one. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. That's not too bad, that's not too bad, right? Ult used and uh, they get the grubs. There's the rocket. Guri, please step to the side, okay? Very fine, very fine. Oh, one shot that guy. Let's go! And uh, yeah, the, the funny thing is, right, historically, you look at uh, like these matchups and it's like, Oh yeah, the, the the major region team, right? If they play a standard laning phase, uh, they just beat them out. They 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 are just so much better in laning phase and like laning fundamentals, right? And so on and so on. And uh, the VCS teams, the other teams, they need to do crazy stuff. Oh, Shogun just got uh, outplayed there. Let's see, driving, driving. Okay, into the tower. There's the ult, doesn't do anything. BM maybe a bit too far forward, going for a combo. Kati doesn't have ult, what is he doing? What is he doing? Hello, guys, you don't have ult, you don't have cooldowns. I mean, somehow it still works. I guess uh, I just don't ask questions. I mean, it works till it doesn't, let's go. Super, yeah, yeah. I mean, for fuck's sakes, your AD carry is dead. Your mid laner just ulted. Why are you like continuing to go in? Like, sure, they got a kill, right? It's, like, kind of one for one. But uh, you lose your other turret as well. Like, hello? It's like, what the hell? It's like they don't get a single game, really, where they can uh, play honestly, right? Mad Lions, like, you uh, just play lane swaps, and, well, the other team has not practiced their lane swaps well, so that's that. That is a Bluetooth spear through the minion wave if ever I've seen one. That was just crazy. Did you see that spear? That was crazy. I don't, by the way, uh, Kati has played uh, no single Oriana game this entire, uh, what is it, summer? And like playoffs and all of that. He has not played Oriana once. 
Now he's like an Oriana one trick at uh, at Worlds. It's like, like why? It's a good champion, uh, but I don't know, man. He's getting caught with it again and again. Where's your damage, by the way? Oh, Shogun actually gets to do damage. He gets to shoot. Hey, okay, there's one. Doesn't hit the second one or the fourth one, depending on how you want it. So they get one back, right? But if you look at the structures, it's five to zero. 7,000 gold lead, more or less, right? Let's round it up. And yeah, it seems the SKT skin is better than the T1 skin. Vikings getting punished. They could have had five, uh, four T1 skins. They have good comeback mechanics, right? With the uh, combo, wombo, and so on and so on. And here we see Kassante. Um, that champion is just so fucking disgusting, man. It's so disgusting. Okay, there's the TP coming in. Shogun and BA out of the base. Shogun, just run, boy. Just run. Oh, wait for Skawi. You have also flash. There's the old. Nanoe uh, is just eating all the Jinx ults. And did he have ult? No, nine, 10 seconds cooldown. And now Shogun gets flashed at and he dies. And uh, well, yeah. This could be the end of the game, right? They ace them here, or at least they get one more kill. Oop. Flash forward. Oh, super is trolling. Gets the kill. Well, I guess it's not. It doesn't matter if you troll. Uh, if you can end the game here. What are they doing? What are they doing? Are they looking for end? Uh, okay, sure. What are they doing? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? They're so far ahead. They can literally flash in the enemy fountain and uh, wouldn't that matter? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, let's see, there's the E. Guri gets away though with the buffer. Merwin ults BA away. There is Nanue. Can he find super? Well, yes and no. And there's the peel, super, oh my, it was so close. Now imagine if this works, if you are not like 10,000 gold behind. Uh, okay, it works. Shogun gets the movement speed. Guri wants to go over the wall. They're looking to end, right? But Jinx is so low, so they just can't. And I mean, they have to be careful, right? Modern Baron is not nice to you guys. Uh, but yeah, like it's so fucking sad as like they draft champions and comps that work and like we saw with uh, them like kind of crawling back in game number one that like once the like once their champions are ready right they they can somewhat play but they just overcook right with like poppy flanking instead of staying with the team super didn't really I mean it's like sure it's like yeah did well but honestly like you are feeded, you are spoon fed kills and gold, turrets and everything as a jinx. Um, so yeah. So now, like, this positioning, like, for example, is absolutely fucking int. Like, he has to flash ghost away. And sure, Renekton might not be the biggest threat. Okay, there's one. They're going to. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. Frescaui here will get caught. See, Super is still sticking around. Oh, before he gets the Q, that's that. Let's see, Kati. Does he have something? There's Alvarov. There's a W onto Super, but they don't really have much more in the tank. BA, can he W to a minion? No, he can't. And yeah. Super, he, yeah, he's just too fed, right? Even if he completely mispositions, has to flash Ghost away early. Yeah, th this is kind of what I mean, right? I don't want to be negative Nancy. It's like he's playing dog shit and he's just getting fed. Uh, like, no, uh, that's that would be disingenuous, right? And, oh, well, Kati. Let's go! <laughs> uh, definitely not biased, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, like European viewers, I know. But uh, for European, like if you want to watch European biased content, uh, yeah, obviously. Uh, I don't know, maybe like watch K-Drill or something. But yeah, Shogun now, he's like, he's online, he does damage. 
right? He will he will do his job. Yoriana, uh, Yoriana is about to do a hell out of a more of a job when she finishes her like sexy head. Should funnel uh, the gold into her. I think it's uh, I always misremember. Is it uh, one thousand one hundred gold for 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 the Rabadon's completion? I think it might be right. Let's see. F funnel the gold into Kati. Funnel him. No, 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 no. Oh, Guri. Oh, he just trolled it so hard. Make sure you have to be a bit uh, aggressive here in your positioning to not allow them to, like, funnel everything. But, bro, wait, Oriana, oh, uh, Rabadon. There should just be no shot. It'll take a miracle for them to get anything done here. Yeah, Oriana sells really good wave clear, but this is the third inhibitor likely going down. Viking's just so difficult for them to hold. Like, hello, hello, Oriana items, hello. How much gold does Oriana have? Oh, okay, Shogun has to flash there. Let's see. Ay, 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 or Oh, God. Yeah. I think Alvarov uh, is going to get MVP, no? For game number two. But yeah, uh, very sad for the Vikings. Didn't work out. They weren't able to uh, get their game on. And uh, yeah. You saw the glimpses of uh, a very potent team, but uh, if you're 10,000 gold down, the enemy Jinx, which, remember, that champion is insanely strong right now at this patch, uh, is like 10-1 10, 10 or something, uh, you, it's hard to fuck it up, it's hard to fuck it up. Matt showed that they were trying to, but it just didn't work out well. Um, yeah, no one is eliminated yet. But this will mean that we get Matt versus PSG, I think, next, right? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I, th I still think PSG is absolutely going to destroy them. But let's see. Let's see. Maybe PSG also shits their pants. And again, the home advantage here uh, is big for, for someone, right? If you're a rookie team. Uh, and I mean, it's not that Vikings is like full of uh, veterans, right? Their top side, Guri and... Uh, again, I'm going to butcher it. Nanue. Nanawe. Um... It reminds me of the the boxer, uh, uh, Nana Nana we, Inoue Inoue Nana. I am so bad with names. Regardless, so Mad Two O, not really what what I expected. What probably you guys expected, but I think we saw in the games that, uh, well, if they don't start with a 10k lead, their throws in the mid and late game stages could actually end up mattering against some better. Opposition that maybe doesn't give them like four to five kills at the start of it. But that's it. Make sure to subscribe to not miss out on more world's content, and we see each other in the next video, my friends. Bye bye.